Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft Survival, and it is the fourth day of Christmas, and today in this episode we're going to be decorating our house, so we've still got quite a bit to do. As you can see, it's changed a little bit in here, and I actually have some news for you. So last episode, I can't remember if I mentioned, but one of my dogs went missing, like, before last episode, and I didn't notice until after the episode. And it's been a long time, and I've done a lot of work since the last episode, and when I was looking, I don't know why I'm in first, never mind actually, yes I do. So, yeah, I don't know how it disappeared, but I found it, and I don't know how to explain this, but it was in my house, it was on that bed right there, so... I'd like to know how it got here. Like, how did it go from inside a building to under a tree without me even noticing? I have no idea. Which is why I was thinking, what if Guadalupe didn't die? That's just a question I've got here. What if she didn't die, but was following me? So when I went all the way over there, she also followed me. Like, she followed me all the way over there. And then when I got all the way over here, she didn't follow me back. Now, that's a possibility, but I won't know for sure. So since the last episode, we have got about a million more people in the village. We've got Jean the Miner, who is the daughter of Pierre and Esther, another child. And then I did get married to Stacia in the end, and um, I'll insert the clip here. And there we go. Okay, and Donna Jo, who is the daughter of Wendell and Pamela. Yeah, lots of kids. And Luna, who is the daughter of Pierre and Esther. So, even more kids. And then, if we go around here, we've got Jefferson the guard, who is a new guard. Because when they have, when people have kids and the population grows, more people are born. And she had a child earlier. So it's around here somewhere. Then we've got Chauncey the guard who absolutely hates me. No idea why. Then we've got Kelly the level worker who is the daughter of Wilston and Misty. And she is married to Dong. So he's already got another wife within a day. So yeah, and poor little Leland right here still is not married. He's, he's just still not married. And I have something to show you guys as well that happens at night time. Very strange, but I'll explain it later, or when it gets to night time, I'll show you guys. And Eileen is married to Jefferson, which is the the new guard. And, yeah, th the population's grown a lot. So, we're just going to be decorating my house, which I did complete. It's not bad, but I, I it's not the best either, so... Although it'll do for now until we move on or make our own village or something. It's just something along those lines. So if I was to create my own village, I'd be able to tell you guys exactly who I'd be taking. 
I'll take Dong, just for the simple fact of me and Dong are pretty much best friends right about now. And right at the beginning, I actually didn't like him. I don't know why, but now we're friends. I just hope that, yeah, there we go, see? His dream is to build his own village, which is actually the dream of quite a few people. And I'd also take Minnie, for the simple fact of, she's at five hearts as well. And you would have seen from the clip earlier, I did test out if I could marry a married woman. Yeah, no, I couldn't. So, I did ha marry Stacia, but if I could have, I would have married Minnie, I don't know why. Probably because she's been there longer, and she's also not the daughter of the Lord. But, she is, and now I'm technically the stepson, or, no, the son-in-law, yes, that. So, yeah. And then we've also got Douglas, who was a kid last episode, who's the son of Cedric and Carly. He's married to Jessica, who is around here somewhere. I have no idea where, but she's around here somewhere. And then we've got Pierre here, who's got like 7 million kids right about now. And he hates me, probably for marrying his daughter. But yes, so as you can see, I've made the layout in here. We've, um, I didn't even need glass for that. I used the deco bench for the windows. And I've laid it out. So this here is going to be the living room. And I apologize for breathing a lot. I don't know why, but recently when I've been making videos, I keep getting out of breath. So, ha, <sighs> yeah. That's why also in Crafting Dead recently, I've been taking a lot of breaths and playing off like I'm like, Oh, kind of like that. I don't know why. I guess it's just because I'm really unhealthy. That That's probably what it is. So, yes, this would be the living room. This would be a bathroom. That over there would be a kitchen. We've got these cool stairs, which are pretty cool. Um, Here, no idea. This would be a playroom or something like that. If I have a kid, that's where the kid's room would be. In here, we have what would what's going to be my room and my wife's room obviously and here this is where the dogs are going to be staying so i'm going to build them an entire room still got to give them names i know for sure one of them is going to be named buddy just because it's buddy i, d I don't i can tell you guys now i do not have a world that does not have buddy you, you can believe me on that one and i did have a dog named buddy but we had to get, get rid of him sadly but Still, I um, came up with the name Buddy for a dog before I even got a dog in real life. I've always wanted a dog named Buddy, and it all started in Minecraft, actually, which is weird. So that's the story of Buddy. So yeah, you will not find a world without Buddy. That, that's just as simple as that. So yes, and I'm dilly-dallying. We're meant to be decorating the house. Okay, so yes, um, let's take a look around here. So what should we decorate first? Hmm, let's take a look. Okay, so we've got dining dungeon. We're going to need that at some point. Um, food, we've got lots of food. Holiday stuff. So they, we've got all the Christmas stuff here. We've got reef, although that's for fall. I don't, I don't know. We don't have that in the UK. Then we've got reindeers and a reindeer plushie. We've got lots of stuff that's going to come in handy. Um, do we have... Yes, we have stuff for the living room. So... Yes, we're going to need a sofa, um, armchairs. What colour do we want in the living room? Huh. I don't know, I suppose I've got free room. I say, since it's a Christmas world, we'll go for blue, because it's kind of like the colour of snow, and we'll take three of those. We'll take one for the right side, and then the left side is up here, I think. Um, no, where is it then? I mean, we've got the right side, but we haven't got the left side, unless I'm being blind. Um, oh no, yeah we do. Um, I thought that was a corner, but never mind, apparently it's not. Okay then. So, now that we've got that, and I don't know why I came out of this, but um, let's take a look. Got lots of things here, we actually, so that's going to come in very, very handy. Okay, um, let's keep it going. Living room, back to living room then. Okay. I want that, I want the aquarium, and I've also decided to change it so that we are going to be going on creative to give the clay and the colours, so we wouldn't have to worry about it running out. 
Um, let's take a look. We'll take this. Uh, huh. Let's take a look around. I mean, what else is there? There's not really too much to have. We've got a cactus chair. Yeah, we're going to take that just for the sake of it. Don't know why. Don't know what it is, but we're going to have it anyway. Okay. Um, let's take a look. Hmm. Yeah, sure. We'll take glass table. We'll take four of those. Not quite sure why, but we'll take them anyway. Um, okay, and a grand five clock just for the sake of it. So yes, let's go into the... I don't want to accidentally place this. Okay then, so let's come in here. And let's take a look. So it's... How big is it? It's like that. So that's the center. So we need another one there, another one there, and then there, like that, right? Yes, there we go. So can we actually... We can. Awesome. I'm actually really glad that we can sit on that. I mean, if we couldn't sit on it, I would have been pretty sad, to be honest. Okay, so we'll put this table here. Probably not the... Let's take a look at this cactus chair, actually. Um. Okay, then. It's just a chair with a cactus under it. Yes. Okay. So, now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to put the clock there. Don't know why, but we're going to... We can put the aquarium on this table there, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, okay, and then I say in the corner, no, never mind, it needs two spaces. Hmm, where can we put it? I say we put it right there. Is there a TV, actually? I say we, actually, yes, it's night time. Okay, so I have something to show you guys, and the way it's going to work is... I'm going to let my wife out. She's going to come out of the door. Um, I'm going to let Dong out. I'm also going to let Minnie out. And I'm going to go up here. We're going to let... <laughs> we're going to let Misty out as well. And just tell me. Tell me what you guys think of this. And is the other guy in there? No, he's not. Look. Okay, so we're going to close this door. Is she asleep? Yeah, she's really tall. I have no idea why. Okay, so we're going to shut this door as well. Jefferson is around here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. There he is. I don't know why, but he always comes from back there. So, we got Jefferson. Look at him. Eyes closed, but walking. And let's go over to Dong. Eyes closed, but walking. And Minnie? Eyes closed, but walking. And... Chauncey is just a jerk and runs around like a weirdo. And then we've got Stacia. Yeah. Floating. And asleep at the same time. So, anyway, and I don't know why, but they're running out of room. So they're making their, ch their child stay outside. I don't know why, but they are. So we're going to sleep now because I've had enough of weirdness. So yes, we're going to go, we're going to fall asleep, and we're going to go, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so everyone, everyone's back to normal now. Now we're going to just look for a television. Is there, does it go, no it doesn't, so maybe TV. And there's a, I mean, uh, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. It's, a, it's an older TV, but it'll do. I mean, there's not really a newer TV, so, you know, it should be fine. Um, okay, so we want it there. Okay, yeah, sure. That's looking okay. Huh, <sighs> okay, so let's come in here. I need, where's, there they are, the stone bricks. Probably going to need a little bit more than that. And we can turn that into planks. There we go, awesome. Okay, so let's come on over to here. We probably should get the bedroom complete before we get anything else complete. But, I mean, I'm not in much of a rush to move into this house for the simple fact of we've still got that small house there. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it yet. I might just end up giving it to Dong or something. And there's quite a few villagers in the village that don't have houses. I mean, at some point we're going to be building another village or building them houses anyway so it doesn't really make a difference but I mean for the time being it, it'll do so yeah yeah you know it, it'll do it'll do it'll do 
Okay, so we're gonna get... Okay, let's break this. There we go. And then we've got this long line. I probably should have brought a shovel, but oh well. And plus, if we don't get all of this done in this episode, I, I'll finish it outside of episode, and then we'll do the Christmas decorations next episode so that they're all up. Okay, so now we can do the wall. And yeah, I do realize there's gonna be a space there. I'll fix it outside of episode, but right now, I want to just concentrate on getting it done. Um, what? What? Wait. Okay. Donna Jo is talking to me, but I don't see her anywhere. Is she outside? Hold up. I don't know why, but Donna Jo is always inside of this house. And I don't know where she is. But she then spoke to me, but I don't see her. Unless she's upstairs. I didn't. I didn't set her home into my house, so I don't know why she'd be in here. I don't even see her. So how is she? This is weird. I honestly have no clue what is going on here. It's weird because people keep seeming to go missing, but everyone's came back so far except for Guadalupe. I don't even know if she's dead. Because normally when someone dies, it pops up in chat. I don't know. And let me guess, they've had another child. Great. They've got about seven kids now. So, yeah. You can, you can figure out how that goes from there but there she is how did donna joe speak to me when she's here i could have sworn she was married to someone but yeah she's in here but she's talking to me when i'm in the house that makes total sense yeah let's try and not get ourselves confused there i'm pretty sure no never mind i can't right click that um, okay, so let's finish building this wall, and then we can move on to something else. Actually, no, I think I want to talk to you guys for a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to be done building today. I know we didn't do much, but I do want to just tell you guys, or speak to you guys about something. So, I looked it up, turns out you can't get villagers to divorce each other. I don't know why, I feel like that should be a thing. But apparently it's not. So, I also found out that you can create a thing called clothing or something like that. And you gift it to your spouse. And they... I don't know. They give you... Or no, they, they change their clothes pretty much. But half the time it looks really stupid. Because they keep the head. They keep the hands. And they keep nothing else. They change clothes completely, but half the time they just look really stupid because then they get this body part of other skins, and it, it's just weird. And I don't know. I feel like I don't. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I think, actually, let's go somewhere else to talk about this. I don't want everyone else hearing me. I don't think Guadalupe is dead. Okay, so let's just put it that way, because like I said, normally when custom NPCs, or not custom NPCs, Minecraft comes alive characters, die, they, it pops up in chat, and I did make this little room just in case anything happens or we have to move our family somewhere, but yeah, so I don't think she's dead. It could be the case, like I said earlier, that she followed me really far away from the village, and just, I don't know, just stayed there, didn't follow me back. Because I don't see how my dog would have gone from inside the house to under that tree. Like, how did it get there? And I didn't even stage that. If I staged that, I would have told you, because this is not a role play at this point. Not yet, anyway. I did not move that dog. I did not notice that dog until earlier. And I wanted to point it out in this episode, and I don't understand how it got there. Like, honestly, no idea whatsoever. So, there's clearly got to be something going on. 
and if Guadalupe is dead, either Don killed her, or someone else killed her. And I honestly don't know. I'm getting the feeling that Don could be a murderer. But I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd be friends with a murderer. Except at the same time, I wouldn't. So, yeah, that's weird. But, yeah, I'm also thinking about possibly carrying Don over from this series to Crafting Dead. Only because he's such an awesome character, I feel like he should be in both series. And also, Crafting Dead comes out an hour after this episode, guys. Crafting Dead Season 15 is finally around. I finished building the map, I finished setting up the custom NPCs, and the first episode will be out. It probably, it's, it's going to be a little bit boring, because it's just getting used to everything, because we're in the UK now, even though I'm actually from the UK in real life. But yeah, I play a character that's from the US in a fake place that doesn't exist. So yes, um, that is coming out later today. But yes, let me know if you think Guadalupe is dead or not, because I honestly don't know at this point, and give me reasons. Tell me why you think my dog was under the tree, because I don't know myself. Um, as far as I'm aware, dogs can't sit up on their own. I know cats can sometimes, but dogs can't, as far as I'm aware. So let me know what you what. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and make sure you stick around for the next episode, which will be out tomorrow. And I hope you en all enjoy your fourth day of Christmas, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.